I did my fair share of unboxing, especially about professional security cameras and that was one of the nicest. Honestly, I, I love it. I could talk for hours, but that's not why we're here today. We're talking about the G5 Bullet from Ubiquiti. So this is their most affordable camera. This is one part, as you can see. And the reason why we decided to go with this specific model is that we believe that if this is the most affordable model, that means that every other model from Ubiquiti has bigger specs, so they're even better. So it sets the bar for how performant the rest of their devices will be, and that's what we're looking at today. All right, let's get to it. So this is not a full install, we're just connecting the camera so you can see what happens on the interface. But remember, when you do an installation with Unify Protect, you need a controller and you need an NVR. In our case, we're using the Cloud Key Plus second generation. So this one right here is a controller for the Unify Protect, but it's also an NVR. So you can use these types of hybrid solution to help with your setups. And in that case, while testing one camera, it's quite perfect. All right, so as you can see now, we have a bullet camera in our hands. It's no more just a little ball. So this one is a five megapixel camera. It has a four megapixel resolution. We're talking IP55, IK04. And when we're talking about the field of view, so for the bullet, it's horizontal 84.4 degrees, vertical 45.4 degrees, and the diagonal is 99.8. It has built-in IR LED illumination that can go up to 30 feet long and the max frame rate, so by default it has 30 FPS. Now, as I mentioned, this camera is the most affordable one. It is PoE powered and you also have a built-in microphone to record the audio. And last but not least, it has AI on the edge, so you're able to do human vehicle pet recognition, and also AI audio detection. Those, this one is pretty nice. We'll go further in detail when we go inside the interface because you have some choices that actually made me laugh because yeah, you'll see. All right, let's jump to the interface and see what it looks like. Jumping inside the web interface, you can access your Protect device on the top. So as you can see, we have two sites. So we have one with the Dream Machine Pro and one with the Cloud Key Plus that we have right here. And here on the top, I click on protect and well, it leads me to this place. So this is where my Unify Protect cameras are installed. And if I click on the G5 bullet, there you have it. So first step on the right, as you can see, we're on the overview of the bullet camera. So you have all the information from IP address, MAC address, and the settings you set up for the camera. Now, if we move to the right to the recording mode, so you have a little bit more details on there. First off, recording options. So when will the camera be recording? You can either toggle always, custom schedule or never. I think always or custom schedule will make more sense if you have a security camera. So going into the custom schedule, again, depending on where you install this camera, the hours can vary. So are you covering maybe a parking lot or a warehouse? So you want to know when cars arrive, when people are leaving. So it would be a good installation for that when you want to create a schedule. Now we'll leave it as always and recording mode. So events only. So if you have any kind of motion or AI detection events, we're talking about human pet vehicles. We'll show that in a second or always recording. So you can have all the storage going inside your NVR. Again, keep in mind that this takes more space. So in the long run, maybe you will need a bigger installation if you're doing continuous recording. Now, create motion events. So in that case, you can choose the seconds of motion needed to trigger a detection. So if someone comes in front of the camera, it will trigger right away and seconds before uh, to record an event and after. So this kind of create a delay. So if there's a lot of people coming by, if you want it to trigger all the time or you want to take a small break. So detection of one human, one, two, three, detection of a second human. So it kind of helps you assess the situation rather than receiving a bunch of alarm at the same time. Now, here it's already toggled, but create AI events. We mentioned it. So if you go inside edit video detection types, you have your toggles for animal, person, vehicles. In that case, we'll keep all of them. 
and now the AI audio detection that I find honestly it's it's useful but it, it makes me laugh because baby crying as an AI audio detection it, I, I see it become more and more popular my friends are asking me what kind of camera can I use to monitor my baby and my, my answer is always any any type of camera you're able to see them with your phone but having the AI audio detection to understand when it, the baby is crying it, it gave me a good laugh but you have also CO alarm smoke alarm so it becomes kind of uh, intelligent scenarios that when there's a smoke alarm your camera hears it so you can go inside your application you receive the notification and you see where's the fire again helps you assess the situation and helps you reduce false alarms and that's the most important thing when using AI is you don't want to receive a lot of notification and always looking at your phone you want to be able to maintain a good monitoring service so receiving alarm just when it's needed and if we go down now we are inside recording quality again you can customize your FPS but by default it at it's at 30 FPS if we go down you also have the video compression in that case it's at 10 megabytes so for the best image quality you can also change the encoding now I, I put everything back to auto uh, but you can choose NN so this will help you reduce the size of the storage and also have a better image quality you have your recording resolution if you want to stay at 2k or go to HD again all of these settings are for your storage keep in mind that if you reduce everything you take less storage space so in the long run it's saving you money now overlay information what you want to see on your screen so right now we have bitrate and a logo so if I look in my overview I'll discard all my changes but as you can see you have the unify logo right here and you have the information on top so this is again something I can change so if I go back in the recording mode and I will remove bitrate add camera name and time remove logo so you can actually see the difference I apply my changes and there you have it so it removed the logo on the bottom right and on the top left well now instead of the bitrate you have the time and the model number and if you go down detection and privacy zone so this is again to customize how the camera will be working if you want to reduce false alarms so motion zones if you're monitoring I always use a parking or a warehouse entrance when you're expecting deliveries I think it's easy to visualize so when a truck arrives someone gets down brings a box so you're actually able to monitor this and you don't want to receive any false alarm when it's outside of this box so the first one is for motion but when we're talking about delivery trucks the smart detection zones when you can do it for vehicles so everything every time a vehicle comes into that zone you receive a notification so you can understand the oh okay the delivery guy is here or they're here to come and grab a package so you receive the notification and you can go meet them right away next we're going in crossing lines similar idea so when you add a crossing line this will trigger an alarm so if Oleg right here cross that line from up or down well it will trigger an alarm so line crossing again can be really helpful when you have restricted area so either by using the motion zone or this line here so people come vehicle come pet come cross the line triggers an alarm again it, it's really nice to have all these features as you can see the UI and user experience of this whole thing really easy to use honestly it's, if it's your first time installing these types of camera or if you're a veteran in the security world you will find this so easy it's it, it's pretty nice to see so you don't have to jump a bunch of hoop to find the settings they are all here and yeah easy easy to do next up so we're jumping from recording mode to the more settings so you can change the camera name and one uh, that I particularly like image tuning so here if you want to change the look of the overall camera so right now it's in auto mode but you can use best low light you can now it's not changing because I didn't put uh, I didn't choose a save yet but let's leave everything at auto HDR same thing and we did that before so FPS and video compression you also have your night vision so when you want your night vision to be triggered so now it's at 3 lux so you can either put more or less 
for its activation. You can also use the advanced settings to change the overall look of the picture if you want to increase the brightness contrast. This is more technical, so be sure you know what you're doing be before playing with this. And if we go back, so I will leave this place, uh, so removing the full screen. Well, you have one, one thing that I like to mention is people sometimes they don't know where to mute the microphone. So again, you can do audio recording, maybe you don't want audio recording. So it's right here under settings, you have the microphone sensitivity, you can actually put it to zero. And if I put this to zero, well, this way my microphone will not be recording any noise. So it's good again, if we're talking about privacy. And another thing I like, so I'll just cancel these changes. Um, and we go down a little bit. So again, noise reduction, night vision, we talked about it. You can add tags to your camera. So this makes it easier to find. Again, when we're talking about Ubiquity, you can have a lot of products on there and different types of products. So by using tags, you're able to find them more easily. I will remove Oleg from the screen. And as you can see here, I only have three products, but I can select my tags. So if I had something in driveway, I would click on driveway and have only my unified products that are covering that area that will appear. So it makes it really easy to filter your products and find them when you have bigger systems. You can share a live stream of your device with a link to one person at a time. So it's good if you want to share it to someone that will monitor a space or maybe someone you're in vacation and you want someone to look at your premise while you're gone. It's a good thing to do. You have the notification settings. Again, this, if I click on it, you will see all the different alarms that can happen. So here we have 25 motions detection because again, Oleg is in front of the camera. So we're able to see every single move is doing. Um, so it's a good overall view of your system and what is happening. If I go back in my settings, then you have advanced. So this is for a real-time streaming protocol that you want to change the resolution. And finally, manage. So if you want to restart your camera or simply remove it from your system. One thing I wanted to mention as well, because I think this one is pretty important, it's under your recording mode, you have recording retention. So for people who are asking what that means, well, it's if you have, for example, the Cloud Key Plus. So this one, uh, it goes up to five terabytes. So instead of manually remove the data storage with this, you can customize it. So it's not going to do uh, its full and take over everything by itself. Sorry, I don't know how to click. So if I confirm, I can customize that after 90 days, it will just erase what it, there is here and record the rest of my cameras on it. So it's a good way again to maximize your space and the efficiency of your system. And when using these kinds of cameras, they have a small resolution, so they don't take that much space. And that's why they work great in a small or medium system because you can use a smaller storage unit to have everything recorded in there. All right, we know every setting there is to know about the G5 Bullet inside the web interface, but how does it actually perform? We're gonna go install the camera outside and take a look at it. All right, guys, we're officially outside testing the G5 Bullet, as you can see on the walls. So with the painting on the walls, very vibrant colors all around. Not only that, well, you have a crystal clear image. Keep in mind, so this is a five megapixel camera. So yes, it's hard to see me, but you will still trigger the detection from human detection, so from the AI on the edge of the camera itself. So just as a little test, probably on the timeline here, it's easy to detect me. So I'll go out of the frame. In that scenario, I trigger the motion with one second. So that would mean that as soon as I come on the frame, the event should have been detected and put inside my timeline. You can also have alarm doing triggers. So this way you're able to receive a notification on your phone and knowing when someone came in front of your camera. Now keep in mind that this detection on the timeline for human is the same for a vehicle. So if this vehicle would come into frame, you will receive a notification as well. And same thing for pets. So if a pet come here, walk towards the camera and you just see it, 
Again, on your timeline, you will be able to review this action. Now that this is done, let's go to the timeline and see how to actually find any kind of action. All right, guys, we are back inside the Unify interface for your Protect device. So now we're looking at the timeline. So to access this, you need to go inside playback. So on the left hand side of your screen, you have the play button. So this is where you access your timeline and detections. When we click on it, as you can see on the right, lots of detections happening. So it's easy to find them and actually monitor because you have small thumbnails of the actual action that took place. And you can also refer to the small icons next to it. So in that case, it was a motion detection with a person detection. Again, easy to find. And if I click on one, well, it brings me directly to that action itself. Now on the timeline, it's for more larger monitoring, if you may. This, this way, you're able to actually monitor the whole action where it took place. So instead of small segment, as you can see with the light blue, this is where there was a person detection and a motion detection. So I can review this particular timeline to be able to understand what actually happened. It's pretty much easier than others that I've used in the past. And this interface is pretty easy to use. As you can see, to navigate through timeline or detection, I can simply click on the thumbnail brings me to it directly and it will be doing the same thing for the detection as well so if i click here for example it's other person detection so straight away being able to detect this detection itself now i didn't have pet enabled but you would see a pet if it was enabled on the camera so person motion and pet detection yeah so this is how you would navigate through the timeline and the detections of your g5 bullet all right guys so there you have it a full review on the g5 bullet so this is the entry level from ubiquity when you're looking for an affordable camera what do you guys think we mentioned this sets the bar for how the other cameras will perform so where do you think the bar is for this camera and again guys Please use the referral link in the description below. This is how you can help the channel grow and help us make more videos about the products you love. So guys, this is it and we'll see each other in the next one.